Hello, this is Fast Lawyer. Today we're doing a review for VR Stock Car Racers. This is a game by Statbox, and they actually made another game called VR Formula, which is basically the same game. They just reskinned that game and put Stock Car Racers on it. I bought these two games in a package. I bought, bought it on Steam for $14 on sale. I thought I was getting a great deal, but it turns out I really wasn't. Um, this game normally retails for $12 standalone, and I would say buy it only on a deep, deep sale if you're interested in this type of game. The reason I say deep, deep sale, and I would rate it a 6 out of 10, is because it has very limited content. This is supposedly uh, an arcade racer, but it's not an arcade racer. It's not a sim racer. What it really is, is a kart racer. An arcade kart racer uh, with a stock car racing skin. There are only four tracks. There's only three vehicles. And it races just like a kart racer. Um, the tutorial is broken. Does not work at all. Well, it does works a little bit. It, I go halfway through the tutorial and then it just stays stuck. I can't, the only thing I can do is get out of it. Uh, these are the controls. Basically what you do, if, I hope you can see my, my touch controllers, but basically you move your touch controllers like you were holding on to a steering wheel and you know, you turn right, turn left. To accelerate, you just press the right trigger. To brake, press the left trigger. Uh, there's some flags, I don't know if it does really anything at all, but I'm in the USA, so USA flag. Let's start game. There are, like I said, there's three cars, basically fastest, medium, slowest. I'm going to choose the slowest just because that one's the easiest, and I do recommend you start off with this vehicle if you do end up buying this game or if you own this game. This is the easiest one to control. If you want to climb the leaderboards, this is the one to climb the leaderboards with. No, not this one, not this one. Okay. Now this is left or right, which hand drive. What it means is the USA, we're on the left hand side of the vehicle. So we click left. If you're in the UK, you choose right. So let's click left. Uh, there are, like I said, there's four tracks, four courses. Uh, I actually think the infield course is the most difficult one and it's labeled as the easiest one. We're going to race two of them. We're going to do Seaside Course and Night City Course just to get, so you get a good feel for the game. Seaside Course is very easy. You don't even have to break. You can just hit the gas all the way through, which is what I'm going to do. Pedal to the metal. Let's flip around so you can get a good view of the vehicle. And you can see the mirror does work. There's no vehicle because this is a practice qualifying lap. So with the qualifying lap, it just determines your, determines your pole position in the race where you start. So let's just hit the gas and start. We have three turbos to use, so we're going to use them all, hopefully. It's kind of hard to use all three of them in just one lap, though. We don't want to use them in the wrong place, though, because we'll go out of control. So one here. Whoa! Let's restart. <laughs> So, uh, it's a good thing I failed, so I can show you how to retry. So, just hit retry, and there you go. So, let's go. And let's just go further, right? So, why not? <laughs> yeah, start off with the turbo. Why not? I'm actually glad I failed, so... I'll show you how to pause, just click on the joystick. And here, turbo again. It's easy to lose control. If you hit turbo, then you gotta make a turn. Very easy. This, can't, this, this was fun for me, like for the first 30, 45 minutes. Maybe an hour. But after that, I kind of don't want to play it anymore. I'm already at the stage where I don't want to play it anymore. It is fun, but not that fun. The AI is just too dumb. 
it does need online multiplayer. If this game had online multiplayer, I would rate it much higher than a 6 out of 10. As you can see, I was first, so I'm in the first pole position. Pole position. And let's start. So this is the actual race. As you can see, I have drivers behind me. You can see them in the room. But, you, you kind of have a cheat code. You can use the free boost, the free turbos, the superchargers, as it's called in the game. And they don't. So, it's going to be hard for them to win when you have three turbos. Three boosts. I actually like to use it right at the end of this course, of this uh, track. But you could also use it here. There is a nice sense of speed at first, but after you get used to it, it kind of goes away. I don't have any VR nausea. I don't get VR nausea, but if you do, this game might be a little too fast for you. So as you can see, you never have to hit the brakes here. Just pedal to the metal to the gas all the way through. We're way ahead of the path. I don't need to get caught in the vehicle behind me. So as you can see here, the, the roadway is very generous. It's got big lanes. I'm not sure why this is rather more difficult than the other one. I've actually played kart races that are more difficult than this. <laughs> the more, the difficulty really here is just seeing the road, especially on some of the on the next track that you'll see it's just harder to see some of the turns and the way you need to turn. But that's more like an eyesight issue and in VR being able to see well versus difficulty in the game itself. The music is okay. I wouldn't call it great. If you like the visuals, it's a little on the cartoony side, but it gets the job done. So it looks nice. Doesn't look realistic, but it's a nice art style at least. So, when I hit the turbo right here. And that'll be it. And number one. So, as you can see, we're easily number one. No challenge. Let's hit the Karenki. This is actually my fastest race. It's loading. Wow, okay. <laughs> uh, it's loading? Okay. You know what, let's not worry about the world rankings. I'm sure I'm like number 50 something. So let's go home. Let's start game. Again, same vehicle. Left. But this time I'm going to use Night City course. This is a more difficult course. It's easy to make a mistake on this course. And if you make the tur turn too sharp, you will collide. And you'll probably lose. Unless you just go ahead. I do break on these turns. And you want to use turbo here. Again, this is the qualifying lap. You want to use turbo again here. 
but I'm not going too fast. Oh, that was a little difficult because I was going too fast. And it's kind of, as you can see, it's kind of hard to see there. And if you cut it too sharp, you're going to collide, and then you'll be out of the race more than likely, unless you just way ahead. And turbo here. That's the best place to turbo, in my opinion. So as you can see, we're easily number one. So next, we're going to do three laps with all the racers. And you can see all the racers are in the rear view mirror. So you basically want to be on the out, almost the outside, and then turn very sharp. Don't use turbo here. You can if you want, but it's not the best place in my opinion. Don't use turbo here. Again, you can, but it'll make this turn much more difficult. I think there's one more turn before we use turbo. Nope, this is the last one before turbo. So we use turbo here. As you can see, this is a long straightaway. And then you get to slow down before this turn. That's what you want. A straightaway where you can slow down before the next turn. So we just gotta do that twice. Two more times. Yeah, this game definitely needs online multiplayer without it. It's just lackluster. Um, I think I would have fun playing against friends on the like that. You know, because they'd be closer to you and you would be bumping up against each other and... <laughs> okay, that sounded not the way I wanted it to sound. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Um, this AI is just not very fun to drive against, but it's great to do. So, the game as it is right now is just basically a leaderboard challenge. You gotta use the faster car to climb up those leaderboards. If you like leaderboard challenges, this might be a game for you. I'm only giving it a 6 out of 10 though. Buy on deep, deep sale only. I don't know how low a prize it is that half to go. Maybe... Maybe like $5 for both games would be a good deal. And individually, probably like two fifty or maybe three dollars each game individually. But I'm doing a six out of ten, just because, I, I, like I, I don't think it's a bad goal. A turbo too late. <laughs> I still want either though. Okay. Well, that is my review and gameplay for VR Stock Car Racers. Have a good one. Bye.